Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Dragon Ball Super video. Been a while. Feels like it's been a while since I've done one of these. We didn't have an episode last week, so, you know. I think it's about time we talked about Jiren, alright? And I held off on this for a while, because we didn't really know much about the dude. He just showed up. I'm like, alright, let's see how this is gonna play out a little bit. We're gonna be talking about Jiren in the anime, and we're also gonna be talking about Jiren in the manga who, as far as I'm concerned, are really two different characters, um, so far, anyway, um, in terms of, like, how much we know about them, personality, character motivation, and all that stuff, in the sense that when it comes to, uh, Jiren in the anime, is that he just kind of is there. At least in the anime, that's really all we get. Uh, it's remarkable how the anime does not really explain anything about Jiren. We know he's a member of the Pride Troopers. We know he's the strongest one. We know he is uh, stronger than a God of Destruction in terms of power. Uh, and the fact that he doesn't want to become the next God of Destruction, that's the reason Topo is the next candidate, because Jiren doesn't want to be. So, I mean, you can't call him arrogant for that. I mean, uh, if that was the case, he'd be going around being like, I'm the strongest member of the Pride Troopers. I'm the strongest member of Universe 11. I'm the strong. I'm even stronger than our freaking God of Destruction. I'm so awesome. It's just remarkable that we don't know anything. He just shows up, he says, like, two words... To Goku when we first really see him at the tournament just like you know get lost and then he just kind of goes away and meditates and just kind of walks around the fighting arena even when he fights even when the fight with Goku finally happens he doesn't really speak much um, you know after he takes after the whole thing with Goku and Ultra Instinct after he takes out hit he just sits there and meditates and it's it, it, I mean he looks badass I mean I can't say he doesn't but just because he really is, you know, he's really strong, he's got, like, his energy field, he's, like, meditating, like, you can't even get close to the dude, um, you know, he, he's stronger than a god of destruction, he's strong enough to, like, break hits time jail thing, you know, you could say, of course, that's badass, you know, but is it really that intricate of a character? Is it really, like, like, why should we care about him? What is his motivation? What is he doing? What, you know, is there anything interesting about this guy other than the fact that he's just really fuck off strong? Is there anything else from Jiren we can have? And so that's why I kept, you know, I'm not going to make a video because it's boring. There you go, video's over. But then the manga, the, the, the freaking manga, which is kind of the saving grace of this, and I really wish they would adapt some more stuff from the manga into the anime. Um, because, and if you haven't read the Dragon Ball Super manga, I would highly recommend you do. Uh, it, it, it follows the same basic premise as the anime. It just, you know, adds a little bit more information sometimes, goes into a little bit more detail, um, and, and gives you some more information and all that stuff. But when it comes to Jiren in the manga, completely different introduction, way better character motivation from him, and even adds a little bit of air of mystery, you know? Because right now, like, like his entire character is like 99% mystery right now. It's not even really mystery, it just feels like they forgot to add it in, you know? Um, but anyway, the deal with Jiren in the manga, and I should guess I should throw up a spoiler warning here if you haven't read, this will be chapter 30 of the manga, which is out some places I've seen, other places it's not out, so if you're not up to that point, I guess don't watch any further, but... Chapter 30 of the Dragon Ball Super manga, we get introduced to Jiren properly. Um, you know, we have the Pride Troopers mopping up a uh, alien attack on one of the planets. Uh, this is actually something that was seen in the anime as well. Uh, Dispo and Topo and the General are there, and they kind of take out this giant monster, and they, you know, that's when they learn about the tournament. Topo tells them and everything what the tournament's about. Um, Jiren does not make an appearance in the anime. In the manga, he does, and we find out what Jiren's deal is. Here is Jiren's deal. He is essentially this, and we also find out why he's meditating for so much. He's basically like the supreme surveyor and monitor of the entire universe. You know, because there's like, you have like the supreme Kais that do this, and you have the individual Kais that like watch their quadrants, but Jiren is a mortal that does that. He is a mortal that basically sits there and he's meditating, not meditating necessarily to increase his strength or anything, he's meditating, observing the entire universe, all the planets, and then whenever disaster strikes a world, he's there. He goes and he solves the problem. And then he goes back to meditating until he awaits his next disturbance, and that is what Jiren is. So he shows up on this planet. He's a lot more of a chatty Cathy in the manga than in the anime. 
Um, and I understand maybe they why they did it like that is because, oh, he's a, he's the strong, silent type, you know, he's, I'm really strong, I got big muscles, and I don't talk very much. Is it cool? Yeah, but have we seen it before, and does it get kind of exhausting, and it doesn't really go anywhere? That, yeah, 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 it does. Um... In the manga, not like that at all. Shows up at the battleground, takes care of business, asks, you know, is everything all right? How's this going? Everything like that. Um, he's a very well-respected member of the Pride Troopers, obviously. Topo is officially their leader, but Jiren is, you know, something else to lead to his, you know, non-arrogance. You know, not even being the leader of the own crew, even though he's strong enough. Um, he's sort of like he understands... How strong he is, sort of like Superman in that regard. In fact, that's not even an original comparison. There's been plenty of people that have compared Jiren to Superman. He understands how strong he is, and so he basically gives up. He doesn't really have much of a social life, you know what I mean? He doesn't really have anything going for his own benefit or his own, you know, you know he, he doesn't really have any of his own desires. His desire is to use his immense power to protect his universe. That's like his only desire, and that's what he does. And so then when Topo explains to him about the Tournament to Power, I think there's actually a, a Vermeer mood that comes down and actually explains it to him personally what's going on with the torment and everything um he at first says no he at first declines because jiren's view of way of looking at this is actually kind of similar to android 17 um where he's like if we lose the tournament and the entire universe gets eliminated then that's the way it is so be it jiren kind of views it as like the realm of gods the realm of the angels and the realm of zeno that's that's beyond our that's beyond our purview that's beyond anything that we could really do in our universe whenever zeno says the time is up and erases the universe that's just how it was meant to be and that's the kind of attitude that 17 and that jiren had about it and we're all going to get erased together it's not like we would have any see his goal is i'm going to protect the universe as long as I can until the end of the universe from disaster, from pain, from suffering, from, like, giant alien monsters devouring villages and, and, and children and stuff. That's the thing that Jiren wants to protect against. Um, but when it comes to just, uh, you know, everybody getting erased out of existence like that, no pain, no regret, it's just, that's it. Jiren's like, fine, okay. Um, and then it, it was the thing, though, that actually, this is the thing that really cued me up, that really got me interested. And I was like, oh my god, actual character development, what? Vermood tells Jiren, okay, I understand your way of looking at this, but if you join this team and if you fight for us, um, you know, you can use the Super Dragon Balls to have your wish achieved. And so it's like, and then Jiren kind of like perks, his eyes go even buggier than usual, and he's like, and so he agrees, but he agrees with terms. He agrees with like, okay, if that's the case, if we can use the Super Dragon Balls for my wish, I'll join. But just keep in mind, if there's ever, I'm going to monitor our universe. And if there's any problem with our universe, I'm going to leave the tournament and head right back here. And of course, the Tournament of Power is only like 48 minutes long. So it's not a very, it's not a very long, you know, sabbatical he has to take. But he says that's his terms. And Bermude says, fine. And so they, they, you know, they, they, he joins up. So it's like, okay, what wish would Jiren have? It's like, that's something we don't even know that that was the case in the anime or whatever. Um, and by the way, the anime still might explain this. It's just, it feels like this is stuff that they should explain before. You know, like before the tournament started, while we were seeing what the Pride Troopers were all about, while we were seeing what the Universe 11 was like and set up and everything. That's when we should have found out about Jiren's motivations and everything like that. Not later. Um, because now in the anime, without any context, it just looks like, um, you know, after he takes out Go, he doesn't really take out Goku, but after he fights Goku, after he takes out Hit, he sits there and meditating. That really does make him seem like just an arrogant son of a bitch that's like, well, there's no one else for me to fight here, so I'm just gonna sit here and meditate. Mm. No, he's do he's observing the universe. He's calmly analyzing that if there's trouble in his universe, he's gonna leave. It's not selfish. It's actually, actually the opposite of pride, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, so, and you know, what would Jiren's wish be? You know, I don't think it's anything really complicated. In fact, I think it's something rather simple. Uh, Jiren's wish would probably be actually one of the simplest wishes ever. It would probably wish, you know, I wish for no more, um, for no more evil in the universe. Or I wish for no more unwanted death and destruction. I wish for no more suffering. Very vague wish, and you question whether or not it could even exist, and what kind of world that would be, but given Jiren's attitude that we've seen so far in the manga, that would probably be the most, you know, simple wish that he would kind of have. Um, 
you know, and it's Super Shenron we're talking about here, so you could definitely grant it. It would be rather vague, but I don't really see Jiren getting all too complicated with this. Uh, he certainly wouldn't ask for anything like immortality. He probably wouldn't ask for even something like, you know, I wish for all the power to defend the universe, because he kind of already has that. Um, so yeah, I, I just, I'm really interested in Jiren in the manga. I'm really wishing where this is going, I'm, I'm interested in where this is going and where his wish would, you know, what it would be. And we haven't really gotten into the Tournament of Power proper in the manga yet, so I'm, I'm really wanting to see how it's going to be different, because in the anime, it's just, he's there. He's there, and he just exudes this, this, this strength, and that's kind of all he does. Um, in the manga, it might be a little different. His exchange with Goku might be a little bit more different. He might not just say, get lost. He might just, and I admit that was a badass scene, but there's more you could do with that. You know, he might actually go and explain, you know, why we're different. How come Goku is like, Goku, you know, you're just in this for a brawl. You have all this strength. You have all this power. You have a duty to protect your universe. You have a duty to others. And yet, all you care about, the, the thing you primarily care about is just having a good fight. Do you understand how selfish you are? I amassed all this power, and I'm using it... I, 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 I realize that my life is inconsequential. I realize that what I have to do in my own life, that's, that's irrelevant. I have this power, and I am going to dedicate 110% of it to defending my world, to defending my universe. That's what, like, Jiren's credo is. So, he could have, like, an interesting contrast with Goku. Goku might just come up to Jiren, like, in the anime and be like, Hey, you're strong, you know, want to fight? And like, whoa, 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 I'm just gonna stop you right there. No. You know, Jiren's not the kind of guy, he's not gonna be, like, Hit. Or, like, even Vegito or something, where, you know, they fight Goku, and they're like, Well, we lo I lost against Goku, but he's pretty strong. We should spar again. That's not gonna be Jiren. That's not how he rolls. But, um, yeah, I just, I just wanted to make a video about Jiren. Just wanted to talk about him and then see where we're at right now, see where we're going. Uh, leave your comments below on what you think about him. And, hey, hey, if all you care about at the end of the day is, like, you know what, Matt? Jiren's strong. He's, you know, quiet. And that's all he is. And I'm fine with that. Fine. But I think you could do something a little bit more special with him here. And I'm really kind of hoping that it's not just a straight-up brawl between Goku and Jiren at the end of the tournament. Goku wins, and then that's the end of the tournament. I hope there's something else that gets involved here. Um, and we'll see where it goes. Hell, it could even be a situation where Jiren wins. You ever think of that? Like, Jiren wins the tournament. And that doesn't mean the results could be the end of Universe 7. Like I said, there's like eight, there's a million and one things that could happen. Like with the Grand Priest getting involved, Zeno doing something, uh, you know. So it's not necessarily like, you know, Jiren wins, Universe 7 gets erased, and then the series is over. Uh, obviously that couldn't happen. But you could do some interesting stuff with it, but you could still have it set up where like, Jiren is still stronger than Goku, and um, that is something that is, is, is you know something that makes them like just worlds apart really um not just in power level but also you know their motivations and why they fight and all that stuff and we would get to see jiren's wish and i'm wondering what that would be um but anyway yeah thanks for watching everybody this will be techie 101 signing out later this is this is official um it's red and black so it's official um pride trooper gatorade pick some up today <sighs> tastes like pride <laughs>